Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous videos we saw how we can create a new data type called geometry and use a SOP solver to inject to create points and advect them within the sim. We can also use similar technique to create fields and process them as if we're working in SOPs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gas match field. I'm going to connect this here. I'm going to create a field called new field. My reference is going to be density. I want to create a scalar field. I'm going to say same for both of these guys. And now I'm going to create a SOP solver. Okay. With this SOP solver, we don't want to, I'm going to disable this. We, uh, with this SOP solver, we don't want the data name to be geometry. We want to access, we want to work on this data. So I'm going to copy that new field. And if we hit play, nothing changes. And let's dive inside. Now, if we middle click here, we can see we have a, a field called, uh, a data called new field. But there is nothing to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the density field. Okay, I'm going to scatter some points on it. Let's say 20. I'm going to say uh, VDD from particles. I'm going to change it to density. Let's lower the size. Something like that. Okay. I'm going to call this instead of a new field, I'm going to call it, uh, sorry, instead of density, I'm going to call it new field. Cool. And this is importing our old field. So let's do this. Let's uh, merge them together using a volume mix. Now this volume mix works well with Houdini volume as well as uh, VDB volume. So I'm going to connect this first one. And this is what's been used in, um, in, in the smoke solver in few areas as well. So we're going to say we want to copy the new field uh, fr from the new field into the new field because this is a new data that we're generating and we want to use the add mode. Okay, let's uh, go back, hit play. Nothing is changing because we don't have any anything to visualize the data. Let's create a gas, uh, sorry, a scalar field visualization and hopefully I can get this to work. So show geometry, let me hide this. And there we go. We have a new field created and we're adding points to it every frame. And you can see that moving through. Now uh, this field is not um, updating at all. And what I want to do is I want to advect that field. So I'm going to create a gas advect and the field is a uh, new new field and we want to advect it with val let's take a look it's getting uh, new frames added uh, and new points added every frame but it is being effect, uh, advected and actually maybe this is not working correctly so let's uh, let me convert the volume maybe i yeah, let's convert the volume just in case it's not working with VDB. Oh, it is working. Cool. So we have uh, some data and it is hopefully being affected. It's not a problem if it's not doing that uh, at this point. But what I'm interested in, I want to copy that data into the temperature field. So I'm going to use a gas calculate. Destination is temperature, so, uh, source field is called new field, and we want to use add. Now let me hide this, and let's visualize the volume. Let's hit play. There we go. We have we have feel we have temperature being added every frame, and generated in SOPs. Let me multiply the source. See. We're randomly scattering points every frame, and each one of them is injecting into the temperature field. And this is very powerful because now we have a door just opened for us that we can do all kinds of tricks 
to generate data and inject them. And when we are in this context, we are dealing with uh, we're dealing with uh, with SOPs. We're not in we're not in DOPS anymore. We can do anything. We can use volume VOPs. We can use pretty much anything you have in SOPs to uh, to generate data. Now, let's say for example, I have this geometry here. I can convert it into a uh, a mesh using an ISO surface. Uh, sorry, let's convert it. Convert volume, and this will create a mesh for us. Let's make sure we're using that. Let's play with the value here. So now we're converting the mesh into a, uh, uh, sorry, the volume into a mesh. I'm going to use a delete node. I'm going to delete by normals. delete one selected so now I have some kind uh, some data from the mesh where everything is facing upward I can scatter points in that area only I can generate a volume from them and add that into the existing data which is this guy new field and now inject all that into the temperature field. Let's take a look. That's everything facing upward is uh, is getting that. But this is one this is one idea. You can see the points are there as well. Actually, maybe this is an easy way to uh, create nuclear explosion because that shape is always hard to to generate. Cool. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for this trick. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in a bit.